that funny because I was complaining about the aesthetic of the season, even though I do like it. I was just like, yeah, I'm just not that into Greek stuff. And it's like, all right, here's here's Fallout Mad Max. You like that? Do you like this now? Where'd that man go? I don't know. I'm I'm too busy like pickaxing and shit. Hey, I'm just running towards the, the gunshots. I don't know who shot me. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Okay. So the summer movie season has technically begun, fellas. Uh. You know what that means? Actually, I don't know what that means. People uh, are going Furiosa. to way over and uh, way overestimate how well a studio is doing just based off of one film. Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah. Um. Because I'm I'm, like, Warner Brothers is one of the worst performing studios. But they like had one of the biggest hits of last summer, you know. Right. What was it? Uh, Barbie. And was that Spider-Man again? Before I forget. Also, I got the water bending. There we go. I have the regular bending. <laughs> yeah, bender. <laughs> That's good. So if uh, either of you want to watch some dropout stuff, here, there you go. You can use my use my stuff. What's dropout? Um, uh, formerly college humor. Yeah. Um, they have a bunch Wait, of... is Dinosaur like, Office on there? Yeah. Yes! Like, okay, yeah, all, all the old that. college humor stuff is on the website. I don't know that I want to seek out specifically college humor stuff. <laughs> um, it's... Okay, the bet... The be, okay, the way you gotta think about it is right now is that they have a lot of more interesting current content. So they have a show called Game Changer where it's a game show, but every episode the game is different and the players don't have any idea what's going on and they have to play the game to figure it out. Hey man, you're, you could like it. All right. So no, it's, I'm, I'm not saying you have to like it. I'm just trying to explain. It's not just the old college humor stuff. Regard. They are trying newer things. They are trying new thing. Not so different. You and I, <laughs> yeah. there's no point in what I said. Just You said it because you wanted to say it and that's all that matters. Right. You had you had the urge. You had the, the the creative drive to say it. More like creative dry. <laughs> Look at this eradicate I'm trying to catch. Bro, just stop playing Fortnite just so we can catch eradicate. Bro, it broke free again. What are you doing over here? It's not even that strong. <sighs> Jesus, sir. Co- Cody is like I think the most ADHD of all of us right now. Bro, no. I'm trying not to be. I just like I had the game up and then we started this in here and I was okay. I caught it. For what Good reason, job. I don't know, but I got it. We're proud of At you. At what cost? Clap, clap, love. One game. I don't know. <laughs> I guess I need to do this stuff to unlock Korra before the season ends, so I can feel like I do. Oh, yeah, for the battle pass. And Ooh, the arcade. How, just... I'm sorry. It's how like... nonsensical my car looks that I get to drive around in here. Well, now I'm driving. You get to aim. You oh, get to pfft. drive around. This is... I'm, oh, I'm very happy that Golden Bender isn't the wackiest thing about what's going on here. <laughs> Yeah, Peter Griffin is. Okay, guys. Okay, so guys. let's talk about a thing, an animated no, thing. No, hold on a up. second. Wait a minute. What are you doing? There's an order to this. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Modular Components. I am one of your hosts, Boingo. With me are my other hosts. Say hello. Hi, hello, I'm say. and I'm driving Cody around in a car in Fortnite because we are ADHD fricks. Hi, I'm Snowcone83, and I'm playing Bender Rodriguez, Bender Bending Rodriguez on the Fortnite game, while oh Buster is B-tier Griffin. Yeah. Uh, okay, so before we talk about <laughs> X-Men, because we, we X-Men just ended, so we will, of course we're going to want to talk about that, but there's something else I want to talk about. The closure of like okay, so recently, I mean, th- this was announced a while ago, but the, it's uh, it's all gone through. Uh, Rooster Teeth closed its doors. I have really mixed feelings about this because, like, on one hand, uh, they're, they're, they're towards the end of their life, they were really shitty, but on the other hand, there's still like a lot of passionate people that lost their jobs and shit. So it's like it just it's a bunch of mixed emotions. Where it's like, well, I'm glad that the shitty guys are gone, but the, what about? I hope the creative guys land on their feet. You know? Yeah. And uh, it got those emotions kind of came to a cl- to like an apex when freaking Red versus Blue Rev- Restoration came out, the finale movie, and it was actually really good. Like it was a good finale movie. It was like it was way better than the last few seasons of the show that have been. So hey, I'll take that. I'll take that. Um, and yeah, I I just like I I know none of you have seen it yet, but like I really enjoyed that movie. Uh, it was a it, it it it's the cool thing about it is that it just ignores the all the quote unquote bad seasons of the show like it just goes up to season thirteen and then it's like all right goes from here 
uh, will reference other seasons, but they aren't canon, if that makes sense. I don't know. It's The Red vs. Blue timeline's all weird up now, but like I don't care because I really like the ending that they went with. I thought it was that's, a really... Especially for like the budget of $5 they had to work with it, you know? See, I haven't really been in the Red vs. Blue game since I was actively playing Halo 3. No, that's fair. Like, but I mean, it used to be one of my favorite things. Like my friend Jake has a a caboose hoodie. There's oh. two people. Uh, there's a uh, there's a invincible down here on a dirt bike. Oh my god! Look at him! Look! I want to get him. <laughs> Sorry, me and Cody are playing Fortnite while we're playing. Ah! And he we died. 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 Invincible killed us. Uh, but yeah, yeah. And it's like the show got really bad, but I'm glad they were able to end it on a high note, like the, for the the last season. So, like, and just the overall farewell to Rooster Teeth as it is. Which I'm glad, it, like, sorry to be petty, I'm glad the ending was a red versus blue thing and not a ruby thing. I don't even hate ruby that way, I just, like, you know what, it just feels right to end with a red versus blue thing. You know? You get if, I can be just, if, I can, if I can be petty, I think ruby should have should have been allowed to fade away without Monty, you know? What, what do you mean? Monty p- passes away... And they tried to keep it going, but it it, it didn't. Oh, yeah. It didn't feel like it had its main creative engine to keep it up, you know. Yeah, like I know they they said okay, we're we're, we're going off his notes, but like still, you know, it, it's still like, and also it just didn't help that like there was just some fundamental flaws with the show in general. That like even if Monty was still like with us, I feel like that would just it would just still like you know not be like at, it would still not it would still have a lot of critiques with it, you know. But like at I least think it was, like, if, a- if they wanted to do something similar, you get another animator and just say like create a passion project. Yeah, instead of like trying to keep Ruby going because of like the merchandise and shit, you know. Because really, like R- Ruby was the most merchandisable thing or Rooster Teeth ever made, so. I don't know, and then, like, just not to mention all the other failed or, like, projects that went to shit. I mean, I think the only one that really didn't have, like, a controversy surrounding it is Camp Camp, and even then... I think the only controversy about that is just, who who's asking for it? Yeah, I mean, that, that, that has its fans. Yeah. Like, and then, like, Nomad of Nowhere, the creator got screwed over, and even though they were really passionate about it, um, and, like, and that was a good show, I, I, I still, that one season was really good, even though... The, 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 it got treated really horribly by the studio. And then Genlock is a whole other can of worms that I've talked about so many times, I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> is, um, is Gavin still part of... Was he still part of Rooster Teeth? I don't at, know. I think at he the left. time, maybe? I don't know. I mean, he saw a slow-mo guys to fall back on, so it's not like he's going to be hurting for anything. Yeah. I don't think that's him falling back on it. He just did an episode with... um. You know what I mean. I'm speaking... He has a, he has his own creative pursuits. It's not like he's out of a job. Yeah, unlike a lot of the mm. Rooster Teeth stuff, or like especially well, the Death know. Battle staff. Like, I was the mainly asking. Ever... Oh, you were saying? Oh uh, yeah, I was just mainly asking because I wasn't sure if he was still involved. Because with... like my honest like understanding of Rooster Teeth like is from that era of Red versus Blue, mm-hmm. and then knowing they did other stuff, I think I watched a bit of Achievement Hunter. Mm. And then I'm I've mainly just been a slow mo guys fan. And for a embarrassing amount of time, I didn't realize that Gav Free, who was one of my favorite ca- characters, the guys on uh, Rooster Teeth, was actually the same person on Slow Mo Guy. But you know, whatever. Sometimes that happens. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, no one's gonna no one's gonna say anything about that. It's this different contexts, and you're not a, uh, you're you don't have a face to put uh, to the voice and uh, Rooster Teeth stuff. You know. Yeah. You know? Well, yeah, unless you watch the podcast, and yeah, that's more for dedicated fans at that point. Like, if you yeah. like, if you really, um, but yeah, yeah no, like, it's, it's, it's entire, a complicated it, thing. Yeah, it's complicated. It's it's strange because it's also like one of the first big and for a while sustainable internet creative groups. Yeah, like it, like it started in two thousand, right? Yeah, With Halo One. Yeah, 2003. That's when Red vs. Blue started its first episode. It's just like an April Fool's joke, and then they just kept going and making it. No, I could have sworn it was before that. No, it was, like, I remember, 2003 was, yeah. Was that the, back in the Puma days? Well, didn't it, yeah, didn't it get yeah, born was, from was, just, like, silly videos? Yeah. Like, wasn't it kind of like a primordial thing before it was Red vs. Blue? Yeah, they had made several shorts before it was officially, like, 
we're making a show. Yeah. And then they just kind of like absorb the show, the shorts into the show. And they even did like remasters of like the first four seasons where it's like, because the thing about the old red versus blue episodes, the old versions of them. Uh, so they had the, the, the little like aim recital on it, but like, then they remastered them to remove the aim recital and just make it like l- use the nicer version of the game. I, so, yeah. I remember when, uh, I think it was reach that came out something and reach allowed them to figure out, or I think, yeah, I just remember seeing something about how they were able to figure out a way to look down all the way to where the arms would go, uh, like to the side of the uh, player character, and then something glitched out to where the head would just stay forward. So they use that a lot. Yeah, I think that's still in every Halo game. Uh, that glitch, the quote unquote like glitch, that machinima tactic. Uh, I, I I still have a feeling that like. Microsoft or three four three or whoever would have to do it will buy the 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 rights to RVB. I mean that's technically their property. Like the the only reason RVB kept going and like it was endorsed by Microsoft and Bungie at the time. But that's what I'm saying. It's like it is a good marketing tool. I can see them just going like, all right, we're buying that. Yeah, although it would I feel like that would cheapen the ending. But then again, Red versus Blue is like five endings, so <laughs> you know I got options. To like just pretend you can that... you can get off this wild ride. You're good. Yeah, because they did try to like do a marketing tool of like, hey, we're doing the Master Chief in Fortnite. Here's the red versus blue characters interacting with Ninja, and everyone hated that. <laughs> yeah, that was at the Game Awards. Oh god, I still remember that Game Awards. I was like, oh, we were just riding on the high of Sephiroth, and then a red versus blue. <laughs> and then the rest of like Sephiroth was the peak of that show, and that was the first thing they showed. Oops. I remember seeing. It changed over the years as the newer games came out, and they would eventually decide to do that. Yeah, that, that's um, really cool. Like they, they, the, the way they incorporated Halo Two was just time travel. Like they just like, oh well, technically they retconned it. It wasn't time travel. Uh, it's Red versus Blue Relore is wild. Uh, but like, yeah, so it's like the the way they transitioned to Halo One to Two is time travel. Halo Three was just a natural upgrade. Halo F- Halo Reach was like inside a memory container, and then like Halo Four was we're on a new planet. I forgot what they did for Halo 5, because I think that's when the show got bad. Uh, much like Halo. Yeah, yeah Halo like 5 was when rhymes. I stopped watching, primarily. I mean, granted, Halo 5 was just not great. So Yeah, yeah I, I just I, didn't like... I remember not liking the diver outfit, particularly. There were people around us. Oh, 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 oh I think I just made Cody Moon jump. For people unaware, they are playing Fortnite. Yeah. For people unaware, Fortnite. Fortnite, For yeah. people... Okay, not- Fortnite. Okay, boy, go. You've heard, you've listened to my dumb Rooster Teeth ramblings for long enough. We can talk about X Men now. <laughs> X Men happened. Yeah. Oh, uh, X Men ninety seven has wrapped up. Its season finale happened, and basically everyone went, "Damn, X Men good." Yeah, X Men do be good, and I thought like the show was great. Um, yeah. Yeah. The so like one of the best animated shows. Like, uh, people are kind of using it to rag on Invincible, which, like, why can't two kings live in harmony, guys? <laughs> it's two- also, it's two, two different things. One is uh, a fucking eight episodes long, and the other is a full 12 e- episode season. Of course it's Yeah, and also the eight episodes are 40 minutes. 40 minute episodes. They have to stretch that budget, man. Like, also just probably, you know, Amazon and Jeff Bezos. And, I mean, and there's also just the better, fact but... that they uh the x-men show is using purposefully so like it's not just because of budget they're using budget constraining animation techniques to help amplify their stuff yeah like the, especially the talking scenes like and then they just go all out the, the limitations are completely broken off when the action scenes come in you know yeah some of the some of the action scenes can straight up be posted on like sakuga yeah bullshit. sakuga Bor- sakuga Boro and all those, all those, like sports. uh, the, like the cable, the cable, oh, the cable, the cable. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can tell they got a lot of Marvel versus Capcom fans on on the animation stuff. Oh, there's so many Marvel versus Capcom fans, like ah, oh, just throughout the whole thing of just references they make to special and uh uh uh, uh su- super moves, you know. I do like yeah. the um the slight grainy effect we get. Oh yeah, on, on certain scenes, they really make it feel retro. Yeah, the um, colors just in general pop in the show. Like it is some of the best color work in a modern Western animated show. I do have one one small question. Sure. 
would Captain America let them fire that missile? Like, would he let the president of the United States of America fire, do something like that? Like, would he let him do that? Okay, here's my conspiracy theory. I think they're building to Cap going rogue against the U.S. government. I mean, if we do I an hope Avengers so. I thought about sure. Nomad. Like, like, what I'm thinking is, okay, here's, you know how, like, in, okay, here's my conspiracy theory. You know how in, like, the freaking like, the, the Spider-Man cameos we saw. We saw hit a little story arc with him in the background. I think they're gonna do the same with Captain America, where we're gonna see, you know, how, like, okay, like, here's uh, here's how everyone else is reacting to the big world events that the X-Men are trying to stop. Like, I think we're gonna... I don't know. Does that make sense? Where it's, like, little character arc thing in yeah. the yeah, background? Yeah, I, I understand what you're saying. I just... I don't know. I I I think the characterization of that moment is very much Cap is like, "Come on, President, you'll do the right thing." Oh fuck, you you didn't do the right thing. Yeah. I'm going to have to rethink some things now. Yeah, I think it's more of like it's trying to build a little arc for him, like a little background arc for him. Because it's also like it is paralleling what Rogue said to him of like he was reasonable in what he was trying to say with Rogue in that one little interaction where he was like hey this could cause more problems than you're expecting uh this might maybe we should call him down and try and do this by the book and she's like this is they haven't gone by the book we're fuck you and this is steve going like they really aren't there is no justice for the mutant kind as it is right now yeah you know that kind of thing yeah um I love the little like in the final episode that they aired the the Magneto uh, Xavier like interactions in the dream. Mm -hmm. Those are just really good shit. There's somebody here. Oh, oh, it's Korra from the Legend of Korra and Fortnite. <laughs> Legend, Legend of Korra Knight. Legend of Korra Knight. Yeah. Okay, talk about X Men more points. Uh, I'm just surprised that uh, all the different little things they pulled together to make this storyline. You know. Yeah. Because I did not expect to see fatal attractions. Oh. You know. Elaborate. Meaning? Uh, what? Oh, meaning? Sorry, elaborate. Oh, fatal extractions is a storyline where Magneto does an EMP on Earth. They go to stop him. Charles Xavier breaks his mind, and Magneto rips adamantium out of uh, Wolverine. That's oh, yeah. that storyline. Yeah, that's raw as hell. Yeah, that was raw as hell. Doesn't like, something yeah. else happen whenever that happens? Uh, yeah, onslaught. that's the beginning of Onslaught. Beginning, it's not Onslaught exactly, because it's also retcon. because at the beginning of the Onslaught story in the comics, it's just, Xavier's gone bad. By the end of it, somewhere in the middle, they retconned <laughs> that what really happened was when Charles Xavier was mind-whamming uh, Magneto, in that moment, all the evil of Magneto leapt from him into Charles Xavier. I wonder if they're gonna keep that. I hope not, because that's kind of dumb. Yeah, it is kind of dumb. Yeah, but hey, to you do know. that, they would have to be like, oh yeah, Magneto, who we've shown be a good person, is a bad person. Bad. Yeah, that's yeah. the that's the problem with uh, Magneto's characterization throughout the years. Is it because you have some writers who understand? Oh yeah, no, I I get what this character's going through and is about and all this kind of stuff. And then you have some who go like, no, he's a bad guy. Fuck him. Yeah, it's, it's really, uh, really depends. Uh, actually, boy, that kind of reminds me of something the X-Men show made me realize about kind of my relationship to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry to bring it, make, make it about the MCU. Like, this kind of revelation I have is that I kind of, I, I don't, I don't hate it in, like, practice. I hate it in constant, if that makes sense. Sure. Because it's like... Here's the thing, uh, the MCU, I feel like it's restricting the creative freedom of adaptations, of, like, it has to be in the same, like, style and universe, and it's like, ah, eh, you know, they, they do switch it up, I will admit, but, like, you know, it just, I just, X-Men made me realize, man, like, we, we could have, eh, this could have been a way better, like, uh, not way better, I, I, don't, I prefer it when it's, I prefer it when they're just, they're allowed to just tell their own story without the restrictions of, we need to build up to this, you know? Or we need well, to I mean, keep in tone with that. I prefer, like, more unique story. Uh, okay. sure. I hate to tell you this. That's just how Marvel is structured. Yeah, well, nowadays, I'm talking more, like, in general. No, it's like, always been structured like that. The comics like, have always been like that. I don't know. I feel like there's unique, there's a bit more unique stuff. <laughs> 
Like, like well, I mean, it's it's more of that the comics are always getting you just like cartoons, but in a a more a fancier way, I guess. But they've always just been getting you to be lingering on to that next purchase, getting into that next. Yeah, going back into the shop, getting the other issues. Yeah, I don't know that's all comics oh, work. I'm just more talking about like art style and the creative identity rather than like the wider universe story. I think is what I'm saying. But that, I mean, that's just getting in more of like in live action. There's only so many ways you can film a person. True. I think. I think it. I don't want to say. I didn't want to say it, but I just think I just prefer animated adaptations for my superhero comics. <laughs> and besides, I don't even consider the MCU an adaptation. Yeah, it's like it's more of an alt. It's, it can be an AU. You know? It's its own universe. Oh, it's, it it's its own is. universe. Like Ultimate is the main line. Yeah, I like, mean, at this point, it's its own universe. You know, it's not really like it, it could borrow. It's it like yeah. its own universe since uh, Iron Man Two. Yeah. When because it was like, hey, we're taking little bits of Demon in a Bottle, but we're not doing Demon in a Bottle. Yeah. You know. In, in yeah. Uh, nothing. He's just okay. fighting a fish in Fortnite, and he lost. Um, uh, but no, we we might get a slot. They might do something different with it. Yeah, because remember the end of onslaught <laughs> for universe. Oh, you mean the? Oh no, the that's the Rob Blood Blood the... Captain America. I want them to do one oh, exactly baby. one episode that is just dunking on Heroes Reborn. Now I just because, want them to do one singular because what episode. Happened was onslaught was like he turned into like a weird portal thing. I don't know. Remember why? Uh, but. Uh, all the characters who were not selling good comics were like, all right, we need to go in there and stop on it. And all the ones that were selling comics, so Spider-Man oh. and the X-Men stayed outside. Oh, that's and, why so all the Avengers went to the portal. Yeah, and the Fantastic Four. Um, oh, not the four! <laughs> so basically, Franklin, whenever that happened, Franklin put them in a little pocket universe to keep them safe so they could come back, essentially. Uh, okay, actually, speaking of comics and like old alternate universe stuff, uh, how have you been enjoying the new Ultimate Universe? Boy? I've been enjoying it. We still have stuff to talk about on X Men, though. Oh yeah, yeah. We barely I, talked about Bastion. Bastion. Oh, I I'm like sorry. Bastion. He's great. Bastion. Let me look. Oh yeah, the villain, the villain, the villain. Yeah, yeah he, was, he was a great villain. They streamlined his origin so much because <laughs> yeah. in the comics, it's fucking bullshit. I appreciate how they streamlined. And I like yeah. to see some uh, some Nimrod. Yeah, good Nimrod. Uh, um, I also really like the fact that like the the X Men are genuine of like spoilers because they realize of like oh he's technically a mutant. Charles Xavier went to him when as a kid, and his mother turned Professor Charles uh, Xavier away. And so Scott's like, hey, we don't have to do this. You can stop. You can we can you can join the X Men, and he's like. I'm about to kill you, and you're still willing to do this? Jesus fucking Christ. And he just jumps into the sun. Yeah. <laughs> no, he jumps and, into the missiles, but... Yeah, it's... Oh, uh, that's good. That's kind of a, that's a great uh, version of that kind of, like, empathetic hero archetype. Yeah. But also just Although, the villain's just like, fuck this. Yeah. I'm out. Just the villain just being sick of the hero shit. Oh. A rage quit. Yeah. A lot of good fights. Rogue got some good licks in. Yeah. Also, uh, apparently Dragon Ball Sparking Zero might come out in October. Neat. Yeah, I'm very excited uh, for that game because, hey, Dragon Ball and, like, we could, I probably could play Budokai Tenkaichi online. 4. Yeah, it's basically Budokai Tenkaichi 4 or Raging it Blast It is Budokai Tenkaichi 4. Or just it was Raging called Blast Sparking in Japan, Yeah. so it's like the I, season... I, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm also just calling it Raging Blast 3 because that's funny to say. Well, technically, Ultimate Tenkaichi is Raging Blast 3, but nobody likes Ultimate Tenkaichi. <laughs> I realize we've reached a point in gaming to where my excitement for the uh, loading screen of load, like rolling around the Dragon Balls and stuff like that, like one one of my favorite interactive loading screens probably just won't even happen because games can just kind of just not do that. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Just like how uh, Namco doesn't hold the patent for um, mini games during loading screens anymore. What? But now everything's so fast, it, it's you can't do it. They anymore. had a patent for that. That's, yeah, that's that's why they they were the only ones who do that. That's weird and bad, and I don't like it. Yeah, they were the only ones allowed to do that. That's why you could play Galaga while loading up Bridge Racer. 
in Tekken. Well, World of Tanks lets you play a different game while well, it's the pattern yeah, because expired. the patent's over. Yeah, yeah. So that expired that in like that's insane and sad. And yeah, my childhood could have been so much better if they wouldn't have. It could have, but Namco decided no. Freaking Namco. Uh, any loading screen pattern. Videos? Any good YouTube videos you've been watching lately, Boingo? Uh, I have, but I'm trying to trying to remember what some of them might be because Jesus. And Philosophy Tube uploaded a new one. I'm very excited to watch that. Yeah, Philosophy Tube. She does good work. Yeah. Excited <laughs> to see her in the new Star Wars show. Yeah. Whoever she also, is. Nebula is also doing like uh, a movie too. Yeah, yeah, like Jesse Gender, I think their name is. is like making the movie. Their their YouTube name is yeah. Yeah. I yeah, know they've the been using expired, it for a while. Hired in 2015. Oh, that. Mm, mm, that's, that's By that so point, weird. point it's like loading screens are so fast you can't really play a mini game in them. Uh, Patent five million seven hundred eighteen six hundred and thirty two. Wait, I just realized you know what came out in 2015. Hum. Platoon. You know what that had? Mini game. Mini game. <laughs> the loading screen. <laughs> the Nintendo was like frame one. <laughs> like screw that. We. I want... mean, yeah, hey, you want you want to know more dumb video game patent bullshit? Yeah, sure. Sega patented the arrow from Crazy Taxi. And now that's that's crazy to think about because that arrow is basically used in nearly every AAA game in some way. No, it's the giant arrow at the top. You couldn't do anything like that and similar. You could have a bar with like That's what I'm saying. Like those kinds pens, of arrows are used in But it's like, the direct crazy taxi arrow. Nobody else could use it. Oh, uh, that, that's a weird that's more of a weird patent than like a like this hurts the industry patent, you know? I think the only the big thing I think that happened because of it was Simpsons hit and run uh uh had something to go along with that. Like they had, they got into legal trouble oh. before they fixed it. I bet it was, um, you know, the big bar, the big arrow that they fucking used in the game, probably. Yeah, this is too similar to this legally distinct arrows. What an industry! Side note, <laughs> I think that uh, Solid Snake and uh, Core from the Legend of Korra would be friends. I think they would be able to go. Yeah, <laughs> that's okay. that's our current skins. That's our current skins in Fortnite. For the record, I'm using Snake. Cody's using Korra. I have the pickaxe Pick from Storm from the uh, Marvel season, mm. and then I have Goku's. Um, God, I remember when the Marvel season got announced, oh. and Maximilian dude did a reaction video to it, and he was like, "Man, why can't this be a Marvel versus Capcom game?" And I was like, "Felt." <laughs> why can't Why can't the thing I like exist? Yeah. Oh, uh, the the arrow patent expired in two thousand and eighteen. Damn. Well, they um, have onto that shit exactly long enough for it to just not really matter. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess we could get like retro games now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just uh, gonna we're we're gonna be a new level of boomer shooter type. Yeah, crowd boomer. boomer. I mean, I mean there is like a crazy taxi style. Oh, game oh okay. So here's the thing: the arrow, yeah, was not the direct patent. I think. I think it was the. Way they stylized their arcade cabinets in general. Hold on. Damn, did the you ar- step into fucking Brooklyn to say that right now? <laughs> what? You, you like stylized. Stylized. You just busted out an accent. <laughs> it was silly to me. Uh, abstract. A game display method dis- uh, displays a driving game which permits characters to, pr- to be present in a city and can prevent cruel images of collisions with characters, characters in a dangerous area intentionally moved away. From a motorbike who's H1. and Yeah, no, it's basically like, hey, here's all the little bits on how we can develop our, uh, our big, uh, like, motorcycle arcade games that they can also use for Crazy Taxi. So it wasn't like this specific thing. It was lumped into a bigger apparatus that cascaded into that, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I'm coming also, Cody, that. didn't hear Earth Spark might be ending after season two. That sucks and it's stupid. Yeah. Although, unless it's like worthwhile, but I just, I mean, it, we've, I think that's a, a, a that's a toughie. Yeah, um, that's a tough. Ask tough me when it, when it's over. I guess that's a toughie. Yeah. I'm not gonna be a like, oh, it's shitty, but like they definitely seem like they've been telling a very specific story the whole time. So maybe I have faith that it'll be ending. Yeah. Ho- well, hopefully there'll there'll be some kind of ending. Maybe there'll be a little bait for sequel, but like, uh, 
It just it's not, it keeps happening where it's like uh, every Transformer show just has like a shit a shit up production ever since animated, where it's like they 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 just don't let it's it's probably just as a byproduct of the animation industry just being so bad, you know? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Just like not letting the creators finish their story or like not promoting the show or like locking it behind a shitty streaming service like Paramount Plus. Paramount. I'll Paramount like, you. Oh, fancy. That uh, that AI that I hired did nothing to help me. Damn, you just hired it and it'll just be like, nah, I'm not going to do my job. I, um, I almost got you back. Just like real AI. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. We got uh, the, uh, uh, did, uh, did the you soccer remember what duo YouTube, right here. YouTube. YouTube.poop? Yeah, you not YouTube poop. The YouTube uh, videos you were watching. Yeah, I can, I can pull it up real quick because... Uh, I just want to know... Uh, I've been keeping up with uh, Dragon Ball GTFS. Dragon Ball. Oh yeah, the GT the, commentary uh, series. Yeah, the, it's it's Kaiser Neko and Lanny Bator from uh, Team Four Star just watching Dragon Ball GT and just being baffled by it. It's hilarious. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what I've been. Watching. I've been watching some uh, Doctor K. Jang Bricks. Oh, who is Doctor K? Um, he's a uh, it's like like psychiatrist ah um and he like and he's just kind of going like hey i want to help people out and just kind of like tries to break things down and says like hey like you can do it it's just encouraged he did an interview with professor uh not professor thory uh, xavier uh, um fucking uh pirate software ah uh and their conversations are just really good uh. you know let me look at what Your I've been watching. Really I've mostly good. just been listening to music on YouTube, frankly. You know what? That's fair. Yeah. BBL Drizzy on repeat. Uh oh no, there's one song I sent to you, Cody. To Kendrick Lamar, Drake, Kendrick Lamar. Uh Bro Job, Slobber to Prevail. That's oh, just yeah. you guys' relationship. I'm gonna be real. Oh, oh. I watched that. That that's neat. It's um, it's a it's a very harsh, extreme metal song. But all of the lyrics, Buster, are about sucking dick. That's see so for me. Guys. Honestly, for me, I took such an elitist take on that one because I I like just regularly listen to dig bar raps, and so I was just like, man, weak as fuck. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I could recommend dig bar or not, but yeah, I can handle some watches. metal here and there. Oh, there's a oh, thing. Oh, it's not now. metal. There's a thing. If I if I had the money, I would get it. So there's a record label I like called uh, Run for Cover. Yeah. Um, they're releasing a DVD and or VHS of like their best music videos to celebrate being around for like 20 years, I think. Either 10 that's or 20 awesome. years. Oh, that sounds like it's... I would buy that just off of the premise of that. Even I mean, I, I'd probably awesome. buy it if but I But it's like an old school music video compilation. And it's like, fuck yeah. yeah, that's neat. I mean, I bought a Scott the Waz VHS, so it's like, if I was a fan of these guys, I would 100% buy it. Uh, it's a lot of, like, pop-punk emo yeah, I can, kind I, of I stuff. I can look of that. I like pop-punk emo. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd to... say Boingo's a pop-punk. Yeah, he's Definitely a pop some type of punk. punk. I'm something, all right. He's a cyberpunk, because robots. Get it? Do I, does that mean I have to make a sexual innuendo? Oh, and, shit, uh... I got the water bending. Yeah. And uh, Fortnite. I let's realize... see if it's as good as they say. Oh my god. I mean, that's what Hatch uses when they play Fortnite. The water bends? Yeah. Hatch does seem like an Avatar fan. Yeah, I, I see what's going on with it. Yeah, here's here's one of the, the biggest music videos that record label has ever done. So, the band doesn't exist anymore. They broke up a couple years ago. Damn. I, I saw a silly video of somebody sniping with the water, and man, did that not just further spread some cancer in this game because I, <laughs> I was like I, I, thought have, that was like I have used the cancer and I understand. Oof. Yeah, uh the, all the all the ten year olds are gonna be so pissed. A slightly more competent gamer has entered the ring. <laughs> slightly more competent. But I brought gamer. myself back down a level because I'm high. Oh my well, god. Dang it that guy sniped me. How how high are you, Cody? Hang on. Hang on. He's fighting now. guys. I gotta, I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta lose this fight real quick. Oh, you were talking about the Kendrick and Drake thing. I've been watching a couple of, like videos about just all of that. One from SD, uh, uh, FD Signifier. Oh yeah, that guy. Oh yeah, dude. I like FD Signifier. I but saw his, the, uh, his, but his video just kind of like 
of like Jesus Christ, Drake, you just let him kill you. No, see, I don't even know what was going on with Drake's like last diss. Like, I, I really don't. I don't know if it's like either God, I hope this lands and nobody thinks I'm a pedophile, or if it's like <laughs> if he's really just delusional at that point. Because like in under no circumstances in any situation would you ever drop the lines in any song. I don't even like even sillily. I don't know. Like even like filthy Frank. Like you would never be like. I would like. I wouldn't be a worthy competitor if I was a predator. And also in the same song, he like had the, um, there was just the moment of him telling on himself about Millie Bobby Brown though. Oh yeah. Cause nobody brought her up. Now nobody he might've been, he might've been thinking that whenever they were, whenever Kenny was saying 11 and not realizing that he was talking about the age of his, uh, unknown child, uh, yeah. yet to be confirmed, um, that, you know, who knows with that, but, I mean, I could see that being what was going on with that too, or he's just stupid and telling on himself. Either way, um, but you don't. We don't even need to look to that to to really get into that. Like, there's there's too much like obvious shit with Drake for that. I mean, he's just a creepy guy in general. Like, he brings uh, he like there's a video clip of him bringing a 17 year old girl on stage and doing inappropriate things with her. Not soup, like not like. Yeah, I know. I know the video you're talking. about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just more trying to get. A, a visual picture for the audience and for Buster, who may not have seen it. Uh, I have not seen the Money and power like, abuses it and is yeah. a secret gross man. Yeah, surprise. I, mean, I already kind of, I already kind of knew Drake was like, you know, not, that. Not that's a... that's one of the reasons why this whole thing is went this way, and that as soon as another star was like, "Hey, out loud, that man's a predator," everyone's like, "Yeah, yeah, okay, <laughs> okay. yeah, okay." We, we In every language, this rap to this. this sweet it's like yeah yeah we 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 knew that we believe that and uh go ahead and make this song the number one club hit uh for the <laughs> next like two weeks fuck it yeah, yeah. We'll, let's be bumping to drake's a predator in three different languages and every other way we can <laughs> yeah no, and everybody just screaming all the lines just calling him a piece of shit <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's uh like, it's it's a beautiful movement is what it is and i, I really do I, I love that i'm here yeah, for it. like someone put it best it's humanity uniting together in song <laughs> Yeah, through that, true I'm here to help that. you fight the stormtrooper as Korra. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell was that noise, boy? <laughs> I went, ah! Meow. Buster, I just got, uh, uh I, I, I got this made, too. Oh my god, that's Let's go back to the lobby and just fix a bunch of shit. Let's fix that lobby. Who I could talk about getting, um, uh, the newest, uh, scab transformer. I got, a uh, Chase. Uh, okay. the the cop. Oh yeah, the from uh, Rescue Bots, right? Yeah, the the figure is amazing. Um, and all his toys, all his tools are very interesting. I definitely think he's gonna end up being a surprise animated lockdown because of the way the legs transform. They look like with like an extra <laughs> bit of tooling that you could easily have like the extra two inches on the car and like just have this to be designed that way. Like it looks like you can make his legs work the same way and just make them long. If you if that makes sense to you, like the 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 toy of lockdown had very long shins at like under the knee, and this toy's the way his legs transform feel like you could do. That. Anyways, um, it's a good toy and he's got a bunch of cool accessories. I hope they. Do I haven't the bought a toy game. since animated Prime. Damn, that's a good toy to stop on. Yeah. It's a great toy. I love posing him with my Prowl and my Bumblebee and my Bulkhead. I just whisking a ratchet. And I'm like, the next Transformer I'm eyeing to get is the Core Class Dinobot. That's a good one. Yeah, I just love Dinobot, and I'm like, I love Core Class, so I'm like, you know what? Look, when that comes out, I'll get it. I'm not sure if that's been officially announced or if it's a leak thing. I, I just know it's coming. Come in and come in around. I'm going to change my skin set, too. How's everyone been doing? Uh, mixed. I just doing? actually. I, Mental I have health a, check. How's everyone doing? I graduated college. Fuck yeah! Oh my god. Well, it's it's like it, I didn't really graduate. It's more like I stopped for a while, or like I got to a stopping point, and I might come back for like another degree later. Yeah, Somewhere. I mean, that's so you got a college. degree, so you graduated. Yeah, that's you a got a of... certificate with your name on it. Listen to Buster, like modest his mouse out of this, <laughs> like. You could have been like, here's your Nobel Peace Prize. It's like, well, I don't know. I, you know, it wasn't actually, I, you know, it's nothing. It doesn't Except exist. Except a box of literature. 
<laughs> You're allowed to feel good about yourself, Buster. Yeah, you did it, bud. Yeah, I, I finished, bro. And now I gotta go find a job. Well, after I take a hiatus, because, you know, I have a vacation I have to go on. Well, I the audience already vacation. knows I, I won't be here for most of June. Where are you vacationing? Uh, Egypt. And then. Holy shit. Yeah, oh. yeah for a wedding. Uh, my cousin's wedding. Oh. Take Congratu- a... Tell them congratulations from two white boys from America. <laughs> From if, Florida, uh, specifically. If you're willing to, uh, you should take some pictures of anything. Or, I will. I, will sure. I definitely do want to take some pictures and like maybe a little video parts while I'm there. I don't know. I've always wanted to go to Spain. Spain? That sounds like a nice place. Like, honestly, Spain? like I know every like weeb was like, I don't want to go to Japan. But honestly, that's the place I'm most afraid to go in because of language barrier shit. Yeah. So I'm like, see, I'm that's why I want to become big YouTube guy. So, uh, this is a, an uh, advertising company is just like, go like, hey, do it, and we'll hire you a translator. I think I know what advertising company you're referring to. But... It's the one that fucking hosts Trash Taste. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's the gag. Yeah, that's the bit. It's the bit. Uh, oh, but that's it's been that's been like six months since we've referenced Trash Taste. So yeah, well. It happens. What are you going to do? Um, Nothing. Yeah, I don't know. I was trying to think of uh, where the mosque that Antonio Gotti worked on was, and I can't remember where that is. Well, I'll find it eventually. I don't know if it's in Egypt or not. I can't remember what country it's in. Mm. My favorite uh, artist is Antonio Gotti. Ah. And uh, I forget the word of... I, I forget the word that describes the geometric design of, like, the interior domes of, like, mosques. Um, but there's <laughs> one that's insane just absolutely beautiful um i learned about it i have a book actually i have an antonio Gotti book somewhere stuff that he, um but i don't know I've, I've, I've just been obsessed with like the geometric thing reproduced in like stone the i really cannot remember the the word of that type of carving it happens don't be, don't, don't feel too bad oh god motherfucker oh boy oh boy hot dog. Hot dog. i uh, ran out of ammo i should have picked up a Oh no! There was a lot of guns next to you. Yeah, I sure did walk away from that. Uh, you gotta, you gotta grab a gun in the grab a gun game. <laughs> yes, grab no, a gun. this is the skin game. It's a game about skins, <laughs> and I'm guile right now. Oh, mm, guile, most beguiling. Buster is playing a uh, Omni Man. Yeah, mm. Omni Man from Invincible. I was gonna pick a uh, Superman. Ah, uh, that would that would be a cool. Yeah, it would make more sense than fucking Guile from Streets. No, no, Guile from Streets is cool, though. Guile from yeah. the Streets. Also, you see the, the new uh, Doggy Arcade uh, video yet? Uh, the the latest of the Street Fighter retrospective? Yeah. Talking about part uh, Street Fighter 4? Yeah, it's yeah. good. Yeah, really it's good. good. It's good, it's good, it's good. Yeah, good video person. <laughs> Go watch Doggy it. Arcade. Yeah, he does fighting game retrospectives. And he's doing a, a series on Street Fighter right now. So he's gone through one, two, Alpha, Alpha. Uh, the movie, three, Bo- both the anime movie and the live action movie, three, and now four, and Street Fighter X Tekken. We have to or kick Tekken him Cross Bison's Street. ass. <laughs> I don't think that's an actual quote from the movie, but I could buy it being a quote from the movie. That's just how Jean Claude Van Damme would. Yeah, speak. That's just how John Claude Van Dam dams and John Claude. Jim yeah. Bison's ass. No, he That's does say we're just... gonna kick Jim uh, Bison's yeah. ass. Jim, Jim Bison's <laughs> Jim Bison, the next U.S. president. No, no. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my God, you're you're doing it, Buster. You're doing it. Doing what? The, the Zordon? I don't know. Oh, I I started playing uh, Grounded and there's a robot. Oh Burgle. yeah, the, the the Microsoft game. That they ported to other systems, uh, along with Hi-Fi and uh, the pirate game. See yeah, we've we've already talked about yeah, uh, yeah, we don't Microsoft really being a piece of shit. Follow, go listen to our last week's episode. Yeah, it's full of uh, apologies uh, about me. You know, yeah, no. got that episode with. I still feel bad about how last last times that local fanboys was so weirdly timed. Yeah, that always happens. Yeah, shit happens. What are you gonna do? Um, side note, uh, this, uh, person who was chasing me with his pickaxe out while I had my pickaxe out just got the most unlucky, un- like, luck I've ever seen. Oh my God. Because I walked up to a box and got the chains of Hades and just like destroyed them. 
destroyed. I got, I got a legendary. I got a single destroyed. item out of there. It was a legendary, and I just killed him with his pickaxe. That's pretty epic. Pretty epic games. Epic games. <laughs> da da da. Um. Are we excited for any other kind of video game thing coming out soon? Uh, Paper Mario that. Thousand Year Door should be out by the time this episode comes out. I keep forgetting that's happening, which is like surreal because everyone's wanted a remake for that for like years, man. I do mm-hmm. love me some Paper Mario, and I wouldn't mind for that cozy uh, memory. Yeah, the, and they are actually like I'm getting a lot of maybe it's just me, but I'm getting a lot of YouTube ads for Thousand Year Door. I'm yeah, switch. I'm getting a good couple. Also, it has a transphobia, so like the trans stuff is still in there. Yeah, that, that, that was a funny day on Twitter where it's like... Certified transphobia. Good job, yeah. Nintendo. How so? Um, like... In the original localization of the game, uh, they basically whitewa- like washed away the transness of a character. And the way that it was hinted at at the original Japanese was basically one of the character's siblings was very transphobic. And that got translated in the new version. So basically, it's trans representation... Through trans- it makes sense, but it's just funny that the way it, to it's confirm like trans- the, it, it's the trans- Mario, yeah. it's the Mario's fan base equivalent of freaking uh Mar- shooting Mario with a gun in Sonic. <laughs> oh. but it was basically like, oh, cool, they're not erasing the trans character's transness yeah. because the easiest way to tell it's there is the character being transphobic. You know, yeah. interesting. It's weird, but it, like it's. It's weird, but it's a step in the right direction. I get yeah. what you're saying. Just uh, nah, yeah. probably one of those things I should go look at. But I it makes more sense concept. in context, to, like when you're actually yeah. when you're there, not when you're like uh, yeah, not when you're chatting it with like to our average Joe. Like, yeah, ain't nothing average about you, gents. I love you to death. Oh, yeah, that's a threat. Th- that's, that's a, a threat. <laughs> nope, <laughs> that's a threat to love you. Uh, I downed two of those people. Yeah, I'm about to down another. Come on, come on, come on. There, we did it. Yeah, we killed a lot of people in Fortnite. Woohoo! I, I killed him with Chewie's crossbow as Guile. <laughs> God. I, I now cool. have nothing but silly weapons. Silly weapons. Silly weapons yeah, we're getting, for silly guys. We're getting a maybe. I don't, need, I don't even know how worthy this is to talk about, but it'd be exciting if so. Uh, there's some rumors floating around of a potentially new or yeah a um a star wars um king down no dynasty warrior game i think oh mm. no mm, i god i i don't think it's gonna happen but i'd love it to happen because that's like the perfect game for muso yeah just imagine like chewbacca just leveling fields of people with his crossbow yeah I'm no, like, they that just sounds full too bonkers and it's true. all clones that sounds too good to be true that sounds way too good to be true to me, because like Muso is one of my favorite genres of like games. So I'm like, man, if you if you're gonna make a, a Star Wars Muso, that's gonna be. And like, then you hmm. just have like certain characters using force powers, and it's just pushing a th- hundred yeah. people away. Yeah, like forced. On oh, Leech like on- the uh, Tartavoski uh, scene with Mace Windu against the Super Battle Droids. Definitely not yeah. one of my favorite Star Wars scenes <laughs> of all time. Yeah. No, that, that, that of course no, that's one of my favorite Star Wars scenes too, Cody. Don't worry. <laughs> But I'm just being figurative right now. And you had an exact moment to go like, you mean like this? Cody's uh, the biggest Star Wars fan on the planet, I- I'm convinced. I have always loved Star Wars. Yeah, I've talked truly... about Alex. Cody's the most pure Star Wars fan. I, uh, man, I got, so I, I've, like, it, it's been really great this year, honestly, so far, just being, um, ar- around the Phantom Menace merchandise, because that yeah. was just really, uh, I just loved everything about it. And I don't, I, I've been thinking about whether it was like, do I love all these designs because I naturally would no matter what? Or is it just because I was just dropped into this ocean of th- this shit so, so like viciously, you know, like this was the only thing I, I absorbed all of it. Or maybe it was because there was so much there to absorb because like the yeah, second the I was like, Menace what is this? Blitz was insane. I have so much of it still. I mean, the, the there's a fucking Anakin Skywalker, my original Anakin Skywalker throw rug behind me hanging on the wall. Like, it's definitely a, just a case of like, man, that's my favorite shit. That's the shit from like my childhood right there. And I loved it just more than most people probably did at the time. I always liked Jar Jar, all right? I still gotta like, watch that Phantom like, Menace in the old prequel. I always start the prequels, I just never finish them. Yeah, Phantom Menace is my favorite, so. 
Yeah. Usually, <laughs> Revenge of the Sith is the uh, of odds-on favorite. Yeah, no, I think it's probably the better movie. But there's just so much, so many cool vehicles. And... Yeah, Phantom Menace <laughs> is kind of like a it's 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 a weird but fascinating turn point where it's like this is what Hollywood's gonna become, but there's still a lot of charm to it. Like there, it's like it's probably because they had time to polish the VFX. I always figure out it's not budget for like that annoys me about VFX. It's like do they have time to polish the VFX? You know. Yeah. I was, time time is like another resource that people like often forget when it's talking about these films and budgets and shit. Because usually the higher budgets are meant to like rush out films. So I don't know. That's just how mm. what I've noticed. I've never thought of it in that way though. I've never well, thought like, of like a higher budget equating to a faster time. Mm-hmm. I mean, it would make sense, but well, like I, as someone who's been following the box office and like movie budgets last year, it was like that's been something that's been coming up a lot. Oh, no, I believe you. It makes total sense. I've just never had that thought in my life. Yeah. Like, it's kind of wild. Yeah. Very cool. Not, not in a... It's interesting. It's an interesting thought. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, to to somehow wrap this back around to your comment about liking comic adaptations and animations in, or instead of live action, I don't, I don't blame you for having that thought because I just like animation in general, but anytime yeah. they do it and they do it with, like, flair... It, it it's kind of like yeah I I love the comic but I want to see this with some some salt pizzazz. and pepper on it with yeah with some pizzazz and I'm like I'm not saying live action comic adaptations can't work like they're they're quite good like there's quite a few a lot of good ones like James Logan. Gunn's work I think really is like the ep, ep, the like the peak of like this is how you do good comic adaptations in the modern day big reason why I'm excited for uh, the new Superman yeah but I have one. It is silly to me that the way that they revealed that was like just oh yeah, the suit, a, yeah, a thing exploding in the background. Well, no, I, the, the suit's cool, but yeah. the thing exploding in the background and Superman just like putting his boots on. Yeah, but so humanizing. Like, I get what they're going for. I know it's not like like what people say. Oh, it's this. This could have been revealed better, but I get what they were going for. You know. No, I just think it's silly. I'm like, wouldn't he already be over there? Yeah. He'd just already be over there. I don't know. It's a. It's one of those stupid things. It's like the. It's like cinema. It's, it's definitely a, <laughs> Yeah, it's like a. It's like a well actually rising up out of me. Yeah. In the same way as I like pick at a Captain America. That's a little bit different. I'm very particular when it comes to the characterization of Captain America because he's supposed to be like a Superman type. Yeah. And, you know, like always good no matter what, and like trying to do his best until the like, eat. My point being, like, there's a there's a Captain America out there that is much quicker to the turn of like government evil, um, yeah, and just like not letting certain shit happen like that. I don't know. No, that's insane. Like, I don't like Nick Spencer, but <laughs> yeah, that's that's the end result. I don't like Nick Spencer. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not wrapping up. Uh, the current Captain America runs really good. If you want to get on that, Cody. yeah, it's by uh, what's his name, the guy who wrote Spider Man for a while, uh, J. Michael Straczynski. Steve yep. Ditko. <laughs> uh, he's, he's dead. He's dead, and he's like he has weird views on shit. From what I, I mean, all comic creators have weird. I mean, views he's on. an objectivist. Steve yeah, Ditko is an objectivist. That's the word I was looking for. I just forgot it. Ugh. Um, what does that mean? Um, Ayn Rand. It, it's what does the philosophy. That mean? Okay, uh, it's the philosophy that um, there's no moral com- gray area. No, no, it's no. That's part of it, but it's. Stemming from the belief that I mean, uh, true morality is selfishness, and to do the best you can, you must look out for yourself and your own self interests first and foremost, uh, and that will do the best for society. And that people who are looking for, um, uh, 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 like working with other people, that kind of thing, they are seen as lesser beings. Remember. Uh, Bioshock One. That. Yeah. Yeah, that's very like brainwashed of that time shit. So. Yeah, I mean it's still going on. You, you Republicans talk about Anne Randian style stuff all the time. Yeah. Oh, I know. I I know the whole shit. I mean, I hear some of the old guys that work start start up that whole thing. He's like, back in my day, we just got shit done. It didn't matter if we were getting paid for it or not. We had a job to do. I'm like, yeah, that's crazy and stupid. So you have fun thinking <laughs> that, I guess. I'll I'll give my entire body to this company and just push as much as possible without ever having being compensated or even you know having my well being concerned for. Oh, what what liberals! See, well, at that point in time, I would just start actively be saying, "Dude, I'm so sorry. 
Should have gotten paid more. Yeah. That, that, like, it's just like, why do people want to be stuck? sympathize with them. Don't ever say, like, oh, dude, you're wrong. Just go, like, damn, you should have been paid more. You put yeah. in a lot well, of work. They're, they're, it's just silly because they're the same people who will go in and be like, yeah, fuck this company. This company doesn't do shit for us. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, y'all, y'all are just already there. I just don't see how you could hang out in both fucking camp. Cognitive dissonance is a bitch. Yeah. What else? There's a lot of things that's else. Yeah. Uh-uh. Uh, you know what else? What? You're all in my heart because I uh, care about you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I can't believe we're Boingo's heart, guys. Like, whoa, whoa. I wonder what we're going to find in there. Uh, something. No boarding goggles. No. <laughs> So Fuck off, that was only one year, you son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, boy, go, I need you to explain. Um, I wore snowboarding goggles as, like, an everyday accessory. Oh, for, like, a while? Okay. Yeah. Uh, that does seem very boy, go, core. No, you know what, dude? You just had the courage to wear a cool accessory regardless, and 99% of people would never even do that anyways, but you committed to it. You committed yeah. to the bit. That takes an insane amount of balls, truthfully. If I yeah. can prove that I never took uh, the uh, balls. Uh, Buster, I'll like I'll give you a frame, uh, uh, an understanding of uh, uh, oh, senior a senior senior year of high school Boingo look. It would have been um, snowboarding goggles on the forehead, like a Digimon protagonist. Uh huh. Um, so you're always a Digimon shill. Gotcha. Uh, <laughs> no joke. Uh, straight. Uh, no. red emo esque hair. Okay, yes. that's pretty drippy. Um, a uh, a a tan and brown western shirt, like cowboy yes. style shirt. All right, you do give off cowboyingo vibes. Okay, now jeans. But here's the thing: they were too long, and I never cuffed my pants. So around the bottom of the jean. The back were just ripped to fucking shreds where my heel would have been. I just stepped on them all the time and they were wet. Damn. And then red Converse. Specifically Van Halen Converse. I did have Van Halen Converse as well. And they had a little pocket for a. No, those were two different shoes. I had one set of. (laughs) I had one set of shoes that had a little pocket for a guitar pick. I had a different set that were designed that had the pattern from Van Halen's guitar. And then I have a, just a plain set of red Chuck Taylor Converse. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I have a feeling the mental image has left. <laughs> there is nothing left in my brain. Only Fortnite. meat. Only <laughs> Zool. There oh, is man. no Dana, only Zool. Yeah, I guess. Have you watched the new Ghostbusters yet, Boingo? Uh, no, I hadn't. I, is it out, out on home? Yeah, it's out on digital. So go oh, watch. Man, I'll probably give it a look. You you like Afterlife, so maybe you'll like this new one. Freaking Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze ass movie. I haven't watched it, but like that is usually talk. And Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze is a. I'm not. I actually love that game. Come here. Where are you? I'm standing right next to you, splashing you with. Yeah, the jizz. I was Uh, gonna say jizz, but like the. Oh, 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 Chris Redfield. Sorry, Chris Redfield. I forgot Chris Redfield (laughs) was in Fortnite. (laughs) I got him. He got him in the boy, snow cone got him in the air. That's so awesome. Nice. I killed a man. Record it. Just to watch him die? I shot a man in Reno. I was listening to that song today on Spotify. Oh, wait. Did I ever talk about the Knuckles show? No, yeah. No. Is it worth watching? No. It's okay. You know, that's that's a bit hard. It's not as bad as everyone's making it out to be, but by halfway there. The first four episodes are fun, silly fun, but then the last two episodes are just kind of like, it's not even about Knuckles anymore, it's about bowling and family issues, and I'm like, this is what ex- people were fearing the Sonic movie was gonna be before all that, like, it, it proved us wrong, you know? Like, uh, I don't hate Wade, the human character Knuckles travels with, um, but- I dislike know, that guy's voice. Yeah, Wade Whipple. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, X-Men 97 Season 2 is currently in the editing stage. Yeah, uh, they, they greenlit two seasons at the same time. I think they greenlit Season 1, and then like a few months later after like the initial plan was, and they saw how good it was, they were like, okay, now we can do Season 2. Um, and now they're doing, like, uh, se- Season 3 is being planned, is what I'm hearing. Uh, Brad Winderbaum has confirmed that, Siri, that the series will have a new head writer for Season Yeah. 
which is going to be interesting because I know like the previous head writer left. Yeah, not left. Got we fired. We still don't know why. Yeah, there's so many varying reports on it. Is was he an asshole? Was it because he had an OnlyFans? Was it, I, I, from what I've up. seen, I think asshole's probably the best bet. Yeah. Who? Because um, his co-writers on The Witcher all said, like, yeah, no, he was a dickhead. We did not like wi- working with him. Yeah, and, like, The Witcher was already a pretty troubled production. You have to be a pretty big asshole. To already make it that troubled of a production. Um, and there's also just the fact of, like, he hasn't said anything about why he was fired. Disney hasn't said anything. So I think it's pr- I think that may have been a wake-up call, and it's like, yo, okay. Yeah, no, I was a dickhead. At least yeah, that's maybe. what I'm hoping. Because I hope for the best in all people. I I hope, yeah. you know. Uh, Gingerbread man's beating my ass over here. Okay, wait, sorry, let me go. Ah, let me fix. I know. Ah, whoa, this guy. I forgot they put, like, freaking, like, command grabs in Fortnite. Yeah. Like, little, like, get over here moves. They put, like, like, you know, which is crazy. It just, like, it just, like, just completely changed the movement. I think the plunger worked that way early on you want to go to the lobby you want to continue i'm just going to the lobby for now I'm just i'm tired of playing forts you're tired of playing fortnite you play too much fortnite as it is this is like my first time playing in like a feet all year <laughs> so much fortnite you play fortnite battle pass i'm not gonna sing that <laughs> just shit out my ass booted up my pc because i need me oh my god Need that Fortnite battle pass. Oh, Buster, did you see who's the new fighter in Multiverses? Oh, uh, I'm not happy. Uh, first off, they brought in the Joker. Yeah. And then they also brought in the Banana Guard from Adventure Time. That's the one I'm not happy about. Oh like, my Joker God. is like, what? okay, that's expected, but like... Yeah, it? It's the Banana Guard! It's fine! Out of all the, the Adventure Guard Time characters to put in, you still have Marceline, Ice King... You have so many other characters to put in, Man. and you chose Banana Guard? You're not going to convince me to dislike Banana Guard in this situation. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I'm... I just feel like, look, multiverses, they already have, like, a, a lot of trust to win back for me, and that's not helping. No, that that gives me more trust in them, because they're taking a weirdo deep character and going like, hey, look, we're actually trying to dive into these franchises and not just skim off the top of the things that make you go like, ooh, look, it's actually something for people who have watched Adventure Time and know it and go like, oh, that's neat, you know? I don't know. I don't know. You're I, allowed like, to have different opinions. Yeah, it's like, I'm just saying, yeah. like that made, me, that made me go like, oh, okay, they're trying more. <laughs> what are they? Probably not. Did they stri- strike their strongest Cord mm, with shag, shaggy secret super snap <laughs> ultra instinct ultra instinct shaggy uh instinct um maybe. I'll in I'll instinct you you sit there and think about what you- I know I'm a failure as a human being I don't it deserve the oxygen I breathe <laughs> well fuck you what a what a beta cook approach to that thinking <laughs> all right guys I think we're running on fumes at this point. You're right. Oh, I'm fumes. On, I'm fully fumed. fumes. I'm well, fully no, fumed. Look, I'm sorry. Anytime I hear someone say beta cock, I assume they need like help. You know what you need, Buster? What? I think everyone needs help. Help. I need somebody help. I mean, obviously, I don't believe in all the beta cock now. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah, I know. I know. I'm just. Silly. <laughs> you're you're a full on sigma male, Cody. That's what you Listen. are. All right, all right. I think it's a bit much. You cannot be happy. Family is not important. All that matters is money. And, um, <laughs> men have to have chiseled bodies. And um, honestly, if you're not just focused on material things above all else, then you Oof. are a failure as, as a man. Um, and you're just not a true Sigma Alpha. You're just not, you're just not that guy. What has this podcast evolved into? Every, uh, other, every other male podcast. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> if YouTube would allow us, I totally would vouch for the name of the episode to be F you. <laughs> You'd call it a uh, freak F-U? you. Freak. No, no, not freaky, man. <laughs> freak you out. Real bitch. freaks of uh, the YouTube world. Also, right Cody, I'm, I think I'm done with Fortnite. For just, you can play me. Oh, okay. I'm just so tired of pressing buttons. What's going on? It's on all t- right. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah.
Ay, 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 ay. Ay, ay, ay. You know? Where's my samurai? I was the, the JoJo. It was a thing from JoJo. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. JoJo. Yeah, like the freaking. It wasn't Butterfly by Aqua. No, no, it was the Pillarman theme from JoJo Part 2. I mean, it could be the. It, I mean, if you wanted to be Butterfly by Aqua. Like... Yeah. Oh, God, that so takes well. me back. That takes me back. It just reminds me of LimeWire, like <laughs> video, whatever you call that. The, the digitizer for the music or whatever. Yeah. What, 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 yeah, I gotta what, do something soon, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Just fucking tell is the people in the podcast. I mean, if you guys want to keep going without me, anyway. Know, will it be uh, hi, my name is Buster. I do videos on YouTube. Go watch them at the Buster Corp channel. I'm also on Twitter at Buster Boy Three, where you can hear me complain to people. That's it. I am not real. And, it was uh, been my friend for years. Robot on Instagram. Have I just uh, been imagining one of my best friends for years at this point? Um. The accident was 13 years ago, and it's time to wake up. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, we miss you, Chris. <laughs> Hi, I'm Boingo. I make YouTube videos and Twitch streams. Follow me on Boingo Writer on YouTube and forward slash Boingo Writer on Twitch. It's also, social media is for all of us are down below. If you like this podcast, please subscribe to the channel or follow us on your podcasting platform of choice. Uh, like the video on YouTube and uh, hope you have a good day. Anybody have any final words? It's not your fault. <laughs> Come home.